Have you ever been in a situation where you know you read a book and then you want to share something with your friends, then you realize you forgot a lot of things you've read? My name is Darren and in this channel, we talk about personal knowledge management and self-development. If you are interested in these topics, please consider subscribe. A lot of people see reading a book like consuming information, but for me, I see it as being on a journey. So when you summarize a book, it's like summarizing your experience and impression being on this journey. And in this video, we're going to learn how to do that using Zettelkasten method. If you haven't heard of Zettelkasten method, you can check out this video to learn more. There are six C's in my Zettelkasten framework. Every day, you're going to have thoughts that come to your mind, and also you're going to consume a lot of information. You're going to capture these information on fleeting notes and literature notes. The second step is to connect, and this is one of the most important steps in my opinion. Connect is about reviewing the notes and trying to find the connections among them. And you can use hub notes in order to help you find bigger picture. You can find more details in this video. Once you find a connection, the next step is to crystallize. And this is where you distill the idea and the insights and put down on a permanent note. And last is to create. This can help you strengthen the understanding of the information you've learned. This step can be done by sharing a blog post, a social media post, or simply teaching an idea to a friend. In this video, we're going to focus on creating a literature note, or more specifically, summarizing a book. To summarize a book, there are two parts of the capturing process. First are the highlights of the book, and second are your impression, reflection, and any thoughts you have about the book. I like reading books on Kindles because it allows me to digitally capture my highlights. I use the service called Readwise in order to automatically import highlights directly to Obsidian. You can see in this video how to do this. Once you set it up, the highlights will automatically appear in Obsidian. When reading a book, I normally capture my thoughts on an iPad in an app called Notability. So when I do a book summary, the first thing I do is to create a link from Notability and put that into Obsidian. The next thing is to write my initial impression on the book, and that's going to create an outline of the book summary. Once I get the outline of the book summary, the next step is to review the highlights to find more references, more insights, and more connections to other notes in my Zotocasting. I use the technique called progressive summarization, which is introduced by Tiago Forte from the Second Brain course. Progressive summarization basically means highlighting the highlight. Sometimes I do this on an iPad. I export all the highlights as a PDF, import it into Notability and append it to the note, then do the highlighting and note taking once again. Once I update the link, the link will be reflected in Obsidian. Sometimes I do this right in Obsidian. In order to do this, I would split my Obsidian into two panes, and you can do this by hitting Command or Control P, and then writing split vertically or using the shortcut that you have programmed. And now you can have two panes of the same note side by side, one focus on the summary and the other one on the highlights. So right now I have two instances of the exact same note side by side. On the left, I'm reviewing the book summary. So this is the initial summary that I have written um, initially. And on the right, I'm trying to see all the highlights that are pulled from Kindle. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to go through these highlights and trying to see what are the things that I missed in the current summary and trying to put it in there. Or what are the highlights that could be supporting what's already in the summary on the left and trying to make the connection. So let me show you some examples. Okay, so this book is about nice, um, ness, niceness. You know, so like when you are too nice, there could be some very negative um, consequences that could affect you. And what the author was trying to say in this book is he, he's trying to explain what nice really is and why we were trained to be nice. And then he goes on and on about the consequences. So um, as I read the highlights that I made from Kindle, like for example, in this part, it says, nice training begins innocently enough as a part of socialization. I do the highlight of the highlight, so the progressive summarization. And I want to tie this part to the actual highlight from Kindle. What I can do is I can do bracket, bracket, and not nice, which is the name of the book, is going to come up as the top search result because that's the most recent note that we are working on. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, hit shift six or the carrot sign 
like this one. And you're going to search for, for something that is um, contained in this sentence. Like, for example, I can say, like, nice training. Okay. And, and that's basically is going to search for this particular block. And once you hit enter or you just um, click, basically what that's going to do is that it's going to tie this particular block to this highlight. So you can conveniently make a reference like that. So when I preview the note, I can hover the link and then it's going to show me the text that is relevant to this block. And I can even click on it and click on the link. And it's going to take me directly to the Kindle app with that particular highlight so that I can read more, so that I can get more context about this note. And after adding more information, trying to tie um, the highlights back to the summary, here is my final outline. So basically, I have um, several sections. One is about what nice is, why we were trained to be nice, why nice is really bad, and what is the opposite of nice. So as you will notice, I can collapse and expand different parts and different sections. And how you can do that is you can go to Obsidian Settings and in Core Plugins and in Editor section, you have to turn on full heading and full indent. And that's basically going to give the effect that I can fold and unfold like this. If you like what you've seen so far, please consider liking this video and subscribe. Now that you have summarized your thoughts, next is to create permanent notes. And permanent notes are the insights and the ideas you got from the book. And to summarize permanent notes, there are a couple of questions that you should think about. How can this be useful in the future? How can my future self use this information? How are these insights and ideas related to what's already in my Zotocaston? How are these thoughts supporting or conflicting with the information in my Zotocaston? These are just some of the questions you should ask yourself before creating permanent notes. Now I have all my permanent notes laid out. The next step is to tie them into chains of thoughts. And you can have multiple chains of thoughts, which you can see details in this video. But in this case, I only have one chain of thoughts. So now I have all my permanent notes laid out on the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sense out of these notes by tying them into a chain of thought. And the way I'm going to do it is, first of all, I would like to um, put all the notes in the sequence that makes sense to me. So this particular sequence is how I'm thinking about these notes. So it's going to um, start from the bottom, which is what nice really is, all the way to what is the opposite of nice and how, um, what are the benefits of getting out of niceness. To create a chain of thought, I will cut everything, then go into the first note, and then I'm going to paste all the notes that I have just cut from the previous page. Next thing I'm going to do is I would like to put some tags so that I can track this train of thought. The tag that I use is called a thought tag. And basically, I just put hashtag and then thought. And I'm going to put a slash that makes sense to me. So in this case, I'm going to put not nice as the tag to track these trains of thoughts. You can see in the link above that I talk about hub notes and how to create train of thoughts. So um, you can see in detail how I do this. So in this case, we only have one train of thoughts. So I would like to put slash one in here. And then I will continue to build out this train of thoughts. So here's the end result. So in this book summary, if you click into this permanent note, it's going to link to one note after the other, and it's going to have a tag assigned to it. If we go into a graph view, and then we try to filter with thought tag, not nice, what we're going to see is it's going to filter only the notes that we have just tagged. You know, So you can see the relationships between these notes. So you can see that it started from this one and then lead to the other one like that. 
And this is the way that you can kind of see the big picture, try to see the relationship between the nodes. And in, in the future, you can shuffle them around. Maybe there could be some other nodes that kind of broken down from these uh, nodes um, in, in the future. The other thing that is really important in creating permanent nodes is trying to tie these nodes into what's already in your Zettelkasten. Like for example, in this node, um, I said that niceness comes from the place of fear. In fact, the reason why I stumbled upon this book is because one day uh, on my fleeting note, I noticed that I have a sense of fear when I meet people. And I jot this down in my fleeting notes. And then that's kind of started my journey of discovering what fear really, really meant. And that's how I discover this book, um, Not Nice, which is about social anxiety. So I would like to tie this permanent note to the other literature notes that I have stumbled upon before. So a while ago, I watched a YouTube video that is from a psychiatrist, and she was talking about the negative stories that people often tell themselves. And normally, these come from childhood experience. And there are six flavors of these negative stories. So in this note, I would like to tie that um, if you, you would like to come out of the niceness you have to come out of the fear and you have to identify where that fear comes from and in order to identify that you might dig into these six negative stories that people often tell themselves and that's how I tie the literature notes that I used to took to this particular permanent note I also put the related note which is scared and fear which this note comes directly from the experience I had on one day in my fleeting note, I noticed that I have the sense of fear. I was scared um, of meeting people. So I put it down and I just um, put this as a note. And you can notice that these different icons mean different things in my sort of casting. So this icon represent the permanent note. This icon represent the literature notes. And this one, um, I don't think there's an official name in Zettelkasten in um, Nicholas Luhmann system, but I call it a concept note. So like scared and fear, and that's not like literature notes or permanent note, but it's just a concept. So I call it a, a concept note, a reference note. The other example here is this permanent note. So in order to be fully secure, you need to value and love yourself. So this note is about the other hub note that I have created before, which is um, about how to develop self-love, which is something that I'm figuring out right now. So I put the link into that as well. I also relate this note to the other permanent note, which is about um, taking self-care as a priority because these things are really um, related to each other. And that's pretty much how I created permanent notes, tie them together, and also trying to tie them back to what's already in my Zettelkasten. And the last step, which is optional, but I would highly recommend you do it, is to create something out of the things you have learned and share this to the external world. Since we have done all the hard work in the previous steps, now all you have to do is just to copy and paste the book summary. And now you have an amazing outline ready to go to share as an article, YouTube, or anything you want to share to the world. Once I have this article published, the link will be in the description below. And that's how I summarize books. And as always, please feel free to adjust what you've learned to your own workflow. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave down in the comments. I really appreciate you watching this and I'll see you in the next one.